60,000 delegates from 275 constituencies and one presidential slot. Ghana's largest opposition party, the NDC, is voting to elect its 2020 flag bearer with less than an hour for polls to close. Here's a quick recap of some of the things that have happened. Uh, former President John uh, Dramani Mahama obviously is contesting. So we're just going through the seven candidates now. Uh, second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Alban Kinsford Sumani Babin, former Minister of Trade and Industry, of course, Pio Gabra, former Vice Chancellor of the University of Professional Studies, uh, Professor Joshua Alabi, also in the race, former Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Insurance Authority, Sylvester Mensah, uh, Ekeda Guzitano and businessman Alhaji Nuruddin Idrisu. So officially, what we know is that we've got less than an hour for voting to come to an end, but already we've got one result coming through, and that's the Bodhi constituency. Uh, so here's what has happened at Bodhi. Uh, final results from the Bodhi constituency in the western region were polls closed at least five hours before official closing time. Uh, with former President Mahama beating his six challenges by at least 600 votes. We'll get final confirmation of this. Uh, but pres uh, former President John Dramani Mahama uh, also voted. Uh, he cast his ballot in Bali in the new Savannah region. Uh, Professor Joshua Labi also cast his vote at Crowell in the Greater Accra region. Uh, and when he arrived at the polling uh, station, uh, uh, he did a search through the register, and that brought some revelations. His name was absent, but after waiting for more than 20 minutes, EC officials contacted party executives who eventually gave the green light uh, that his name should be included in the register before he was allowed to vote. We've had a few incidents. I'll be sharing uh, bits, uh, pieces with you. Uh, with our continuous coverage of the NDC's primaries ongoing. But uh, let's go to the Menshia North constituency in the Ashanti region uh, because there the voter register had to be changed because some voters could not find their names uh, to enable them votes. Here's presiding officer Aaron Kwesi Kwako who spoke with Joy News' Mahmoud uh, Mohamed Nuruddin. I came in at hours of 10 a.m. Uh, it got my turn around almost 11.15. Approximately, I spent one hour, 15 minutes before I had a chance to vote. Indeed, the process was very okay, very normal, and everything was okay to my perfection. So I'm expecting a successful election. Anyone who emerges as the winner to lead our party, all right, you heard the presiding officer, Aaron Kwesukoko, from the Menshia North constituency in the Ashanti region. Well, as at 12 midday, less than 300 out of the 1,021 registered voters had cast their ballots. Uh, many, however, waited uh, in queues for close to an hour. Some of them spoke to join news. Um, 200 and... It should be 260 there about, because as I checked around the 12, 5, it was 258. We didn't stand late. They are not coming. They were not coming. Let me put it that way. They were not coming. We started at 7. Now let me say five minutes after 7. We were there and they were not coming. So it was in the afternoon that they started coming in their numbers. Now the, the line keeps growing and growing. So we are here. We are waiting for them as and when they come. Once somebody comes in before 5, the person will still go. So we are here till 5. And are they... Uh, Tafu Pankonu constituency, the situation was a bit different. 684 members uh, had already exercised their right as at 12 p.m. today. Deputy Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Lawrence Sapong, has been monitoring the process. Constituency, and so far, so good, as I indicated. Um, by 7 a.m., all our officials were at the centre, ready to start voting, and voting started indeed at 7 a.m. Um, where I have gone so far, there's been so much order. Uh, you don't see any um, threat of disagreement or whatever. Menshia North is where I saw a lot of delegates in the queue, because I think the number there, Menshia South rather, because the number there I think is a little bit uh, huge, so you see a lot of people in queue. Initially, we were expecting 592, but when we got here, the executives 
saw that some of the names were missing. And so we had to link with our bosses at the region. They also linked with their bosses in the region and the national. And I think they've now sorted out. So we are expecting 1,021 now to go to today. 1,021021. I've been here past an hour. And the, the whole process is smooth, but then it's slow. The system is slow. So I've been here past an hour. And I'm still in the queue. Uh, it's about, when I look around, it's about 20 to 22 people. Well, I feel a little bit relieved, relaxed, but then I'm tired for being in the queue. Uh, with about 30 minutes now for polls to close, let's set the ground, let's find out what's been happening. Uh, Hashmin Mohammed is in Tamale, or he's in the northern region. Uh, let's uh, get... Hashmin, Hashmin is on the line. Let's find out what's what's been happening. Hashmin, what can you report? Well, I I am currently at the Tamalezov constituency, precisely the Global Dream Hotel. That's the video for the Tamalezov uh, constituency. At the moment, they have exhausted the delegates, but they want the approved end of poll time to get closer before counting will start. So what it, what it means is that everyone on the register has voted. Well, every delegate who has turned up at the center has voted. And what I have gathered from issue officials is that they cannot start the counting unless the stipulated time that is by them before they will start counting. Mm -hmm. But what they are telling me is that uh, they have exhausted the delegate are people waiting to witness the counting? Well, uh, right now, people are returning back to the center. Earlier, when delegates came, they voted and then they left the place because that's the arrangement. The situation is such that you come, you vote, and you leave the place to other delegates who have not voted. And so far, and that has contributed to the peaceful nature of the polls so far. Mm. And Hashmin, tell us about security as well. Well, security has been generally encouraging. Uh, about f five police personnel have been detailed to the, the center, and the delegates themselves have been very cooperative with the security, and they have not given the security any difficulty at all at the center. Hashmin Mohammed, thank you very much. Hashmin, uh, we'll come back when... Uh, Counting gets underway, Hashmin Mohammed. There we've got uh, our colleagues and our reporters on the ground across the country, and we will be finding out from them with about 30 minutes now to go. Uh, let's get Rafik Salam joining us uh, to give us an update. Rafik, uh, what, what can you report from where you are? Um, currently, I am just uh, getting back to the Upper West region, but previously I was at the newly created Savannah region, uh, where I went to two polling centers, one at the border uh, hilltop where former President John Dramani Mahama uh, voted. Uh, from there, I came at the Solotuna Salva constituency, the DA primary, where another voting is taking place. And also in the Upper West region, the focus is at Nadulu Kelly uh, constituency, where Alban Somana Kilford uh, is uh, voting there. But what I can report to you, Mama B, uh, at the border hilltop, um, everything went on peaceful. That was where uh, former President George Ramani Mahama voted. Uh, some few uh, incidents, uh, uh, let me report to you, who uh, occurred there. There was a police uh, officer uh, who couldn't control his gun. He was trigger happy, and then he tried to lock his gun uh, automatic, and then it went off. Fired several shots, as many as eight shots were fired to the ground, which really uh, brought some kind of tension in the area. But, uh, it, uh, but after that, when they realized that uh, it was a, a mistake made by the police, uh, everything uh, went back to normal. Any casualties recorded there? Uh, any? Casualties? No, there wasn't any casualties because uh, the gun was, uh, was, uh, was, was pointed to the ground. And so the policeman, instead of uh, saving the, the gun after he did the automatic uh, uh, lock, it didn't, and then which went off and then fired about eight times. And did it, did it disrupt uh, the exercise? Did, they, did it disrupt the exercise? 
it didn't it didn't uh, there was uh, some kind of tension and there was uh, some kind of fear uh, from the voters uh, who were there uh, but after they realized that it was a mistake made by the policeman uh, things went uh, back to normal mm. okay so uh rafik uh, have people are people still queuing to vote um at the uh, hilltop uh, police station i can report to you that close to about 95 percent of the people had voted because they are expecting close to about 762 people are uh, voting. And another time that I was living there, I think about an hour ago, over 700 people have voted in that particular police station. When you come to Tolatuna Kalba constituency, out of uh, 842, about 730 uh, voters, uh, people have voted uh, so far in that particular constituency. So I'm mm -hmm. heading back to the water Central to monitor the polls there. Okay, Rafik Salam, uh, bringing us up to speed with what's been happening in the Upper West region and the Savannah region where he earlier visited. Is our continuous coverage of the NDC's primary. Uh, who would it be? Who will be on that ballot in uh, 2020? Um, our reporters are on the ground. We're touching base for them to bring us up to speed with what's been happening uh, with about less than 30 minutes now. Uh, for polls to close is your election headquarters. Uh, let's go to the Upper East region from the Upper West and the Savannah region. Albert Sorry joins us uh, with some updates. Albert, what's the latest? Yes, Mama V, um, the voting in the Upper East region has been uh, smooth. Um, there haven't been any um, incidents whatsoever recorded. Um, I have been monitoring voting in Bolga Central, uh, Bolga East, and then uh, in the Tanisi District as well. And everything has been smooth. Um, in Bolga Central, they are expecting a total number of 1,112 uh, delegates to vote today. And um, a while ago when we checked, just about uh, half of that number um, had, had turned up. But voting is still ongoing uh, in, in that polling station in Bolga Central. Uh, voting is still going on uh, in Bolga East as well, as Talency, uh, where we are told that a total number of 729 delegates uh, are expected to vote today. Mm. In the Upper East region, generally, um, it has been incident-free, except that uh, in some of the polling stations, uh, voting didn't start at exactly 7 a.m. Uh, it delayed a little. In some other places, uh, even though the election officials were there, uh, the delegates didn't turn up at 7 a.m. So uh, these are just the incidents that um, I have been able to uh, pick up in the course of my round. Is it also fair to conclude that in some parts uh, there were vo uh, low voter turnouts? Uh, that is something I cannot uh, authoritatively say for now. Um, we're waiting to see... How, how many would have voted in total at the end of uh, uh, the polls, mm. uh, then we'll be able to tell. But it appears that um, so most likely not all the delegates um, who we are told should be voting uh, would turn up at the end of uh, the polls. Mm. So uh, obviously people are looking forward uh, to the counting. Are they coming around the polling stations to witness? Exactly so, Mama V. In, in Borga Central, for example, uh, most of the people who voted uh, did not even leave. Some just uh, come to cast their votes and then they stay around uh, the area. It's, it's a guest house, um, so the voting is taking place inside. So once they vote, they come outside and they wait under uh, trees around the guest house. Mm. And the number is gradually increasing, obviously, because... Um, it's getting to the end of the poll, and so people are anticipating uh, the counting of the polls. So uh, we're waiting uh, to see how that goes. So real quick, Albert, tell us about the security arrangement. How does it look like? Yes, in, in the polling stations that I have visited, uh, there are some police uh, people stationed there in Bolga East, um, also in Talisi, and then in Bolga Central. There, there are not so many. Um, but I think it is mainly because there haven't been any incidents uh, or any kind of disturbance in any of the polling stations so far. So um, security is present, but um, you don't get the sense that, you know, they are anticipating something could go wrong. Mm. So it's, uh, it's 
it's just normal. And apart from the state security, which in this in this case is mainly the police, do you see party security also present? No, not in the polling stations that I have visited. Um, I've seen party people, uh, but I haven't seen uh, any group of people who look like they are party security uh, or, you know, vigilante or whatsoever. I, I didn't see anything like that. Albert, sorry. Thank you very much. That's my colleague in the Upper East Region. Albert Sori uh, reporting for us. Uh, time for us to get to know uh, the people standing for this particular election. We'll begin with former Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Insurance Authority, Sylvester Mensah. So Sylvester Mensah, a former member of parliament for Dade Kotopong uh, with an MBA in finance from the University of Leicester, BSc in administration from the University of Ghana Business School. Uh, a little about the man who is standing with some six others in today's exercise. He's got a diploma in political economy, uh, also a diploma in global health. And he's a fellow of the Institute of Business Consulting in the UK, a former chief executive officer of the National Health Insurance Authority, Sylvester Mensah. He's standing with some six others. Uh, we have Mr. Guzitano uh, and then a businessman, Alhaji Norudin Idrisu. Uh, second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagwin, former Minister of Trade and Industry, Akospio Gabra former Vice Chancellor of the University of Professional Studies, Professor Joshua Labi, and former President John uh, Mahama, uh, who is hoping to get a nod uh, to go for a second term in 2020. Uh, so more of our colleagues joining us uh, to tell us how voting is gradually coming to an end uh, with some...